Hi guys, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. So I was going to get a fishing report up for you guys today, but I realized that a lot of the Christmas shopping is going to go on tomorrow on Black Friday. So I'm going to either get the fishing report up this afternoon, being Thursday afternoon, so you can watch it over the holidays, or Friday for sure I'll get it up. But I shot this video several weeks ago, and uh, the more I thought about it, I thought, gosh, this is a perfect time to publish this for you guys. So I, there's another intro you'll see right after this, but there's three things I want to remember to mention to you guys before we get to that. Number one, don't forget Jones Trolling Motor has that Black Friday sale going with a $200 mail-in rebate on a Garmin LiveScope system. So that's a great deal. Number two, Tackle Warehouse's Black Friday event is tomorrow. So before I got connected with Cigar, I had a line deal, I had 30 or 40% off on my line. And I ordered it one time, I ordered some stuff, and they charged me shipping. And when I got my line in, or when I got the invoice, I realized I could buy my line on Tackle Warehouse on the Black Friday event cheaper because over 50 bucks it's free shipping than I could buy it on the Pro Staff deal. So this is the time tomorrow, uh, the Black Friday deal on Tackle Warehouse is the time to buy most of our stuff. So I'm gonna post my link below. I've already told you guys about this, but if you use my link when you shop on Tackle Warehouse, it adds nothing to your bill and it, it so they support Ken Smith Fishing when they see that people are using that link. So much appreciated when you guys do that. So that's the two things I want to mention. The third thing I want to mention is I just got these after I shot this video. I finally ordered the green lenses in the Waterland Company's uh, sunglasses. And it's supposed to be kind of the best for all lights. And I love them. This is them right here. So if you need a good pair of sunglasses, I would strongly suggest you try those green lenses. Uh, so just something for you to check out. All right, let's jump to the actual video. I've got a bunch of really cool products in here. Some sponsor products, some products that aren't sponsors, just stuff that I like, stuff that I bought myself, the stuff that I've been given, and stuff that I want. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Hi, right, boys and girls. Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. This is the video to give to your wife, okay? So here's what I've done. I pulled my favorite stuff and stuff I want for Christmas. Look, I love you, honey. And I definitely need underwear, you're right. When stuff falls out of the underwear, it's time to get new underwear. And I probably need socks, probably less work socks than I have in years past. But, and I love getting my Tackle Warehouse gift cards, don't get me wrong. But it's nice to unwrap something every once in a while, right? So I've gone through and I've got you expensive stuff, I've got you stocking stuffers for the, for the husband and the family. If mom likes to fish, great too. Husband. Uh, or the son or daughter who likes to fish, I want to show you what I think is some of the coolest stuff that you can get for Christmas this year. So let's just go left to right, and I got stuff scattered everywhere here. So all the shots that you got that you guys see me shoot from the back of the boat are with this. This is a Yolo Tech pole. It plugs into the light pole, and your GoPro goes on top of it. It will extend up a couple of times. And yes, you can run down the lake. You guys saw in the video this past week of the Angelina River, where you see a high view from behind the boat running up the river. That's what I'm running is that YOLO tech. So, so you know, there's a discount code in the description below. You can buy YOLO tech products according to what it is for 10 to 38% off. Again, according to the product, using my link and using the discount code below. So that's number one. Number two. I bought my first one of these, golly, in the 80s at Walmart, uh, fishing in, I, I, can't, I left, I was on Lake of the Ozarks, up there practicing for a Bassmasters tournament, and made a really, really long run in sleet. And that night, I went and bought myself a helmet. Now, the good thing about a helmet for a boat is, you don't have to spend four, five, or $600. You can buy an inexpensive helmet. This is the one I wear, but this one's almost on its last leg. I'll put a link below to this helmet. But Dickie bought a helmet that I'm real impressed with that the shield in all shifts up. And the reason it's cool, this is hard to put your sunglasses on, right? So Dickie's, the whole thing folds up. You can slip your sunglasses on and flip it back down. And you don't have to spend a lot of money on a, on a motorcycle helmet for fishing because, I mean, you're not buying it for road rash, right? You're buying it basically to stay warm 
and or to stay dry and they work great. In the winter time, they're awesome. You'll see me with mine in the boat all the time. Speaking of staying warm and dry, gloves. This is a huge deal. This is something that Chris McCall turned me on to several years ago. And I said, how do you keep your hands warm? He said, well, I have 10 pairs of gloves in the boat. And what he does, on, even on a rainy day, he puts a set of gloves on, he fishes in them until they get ringing wet, he takes them off and he gets another pair of gloves out. There are two kind I love. This one you'll see is worn slap out. That is an Under Armour glove liner. And you can see there's holes in it. I can't find these anymore. But if you can find something like that, they're super thin and you can fish in these. I fish in them, I still fish in that glove all the time. About 40 bucks if you can find them. If you can find them, please add in the comments below because I want another pair. These are great in the rain and or colder. <laughs> this is pretty funny. These are Foot Joy rain golf gloves. Also not expensive. Uh, I've got six pairs of these and probably three pairs of these left at this point. I've got a couple of other things mixed in. By the way, I put another glove below. Under Armour running gloves also are really good. And they have a pouch right here you can put hand warmers in. Great idea for fishermen. And let's face it, you can't have too many pairs of these. The thing I talked about several, probably three months ago, and we completely sold Tackle Warehouse out of these. 40 bucks, lose speed cutters. These are those things I was getting down in the fish and cutting those hooks off. If you don't have a pair of those, I asked Santa to bring you a pair, link down below. A couple of cool things. Do I have them both up here? Yeah, I've got them both up here. So I'm really into compartmentalizing stuff and having bags in the boat. This is a new bag from Six Sense. I've got this one and I've ordered four more. And basically, it's a bait bag, right? It's got one big zipper. It actually reminds me of a golf shoe bag, if you guys know what those are. It's got one big zipper. If I figure out how to do it, I'm holding the wrong thing there. There we go. That's what the zipper is. And it's perfect set up to carry baits in. And mine are kind of messed up right now. I also have one of these as my spare reel bag. And I've ordered one to use as my dock kit for when I travel to carry my toothbrush, my hairbrush, my deodorant, and all that stuff in. Those things are, I want to say about 20 bucks on the Six Cents website. Ken 10 discount, great deal there at the Six Cents website. Along those same lines, they've got these things. These are also really cool, and they're just see-through bags. This is now what all of, I probably, you probably couldn't hear me. This is now what I carry my gloves, my hats, my scarves, and my buffs in the boat. So these are great for a whole bunch of different reasons. And you can see that's a pretty big bag. It's got a zipper across the top. I love those, and you can ride on them up there as well. Again, I dig bags. These, Waterland uh, makes these, and Six Cents has them as well. They're very inexpensive, and they're little roll bags, so they're completely waterproof. And you can see I ride on them. So, for example, this one, I have a bunch of uh, Cigar Gold Label Leader Line in that one. So it says, you can't read it, but it says Leader Line on there. I love these. When we went to the beach this summer, this is what we put our phones and stuff in to carry down to the beach. We've got a bigger one. We've got a 1.5 liter, I think. Sarah put her, her, her uh, iPad in there because she was reading. I had my book in there. These things are awesome to carry around. And again, great gift from Santa. Safety first. You guys see me when it starts cooling off, when I'm fishing by myself, I put on an inflatable life jacket all the time. Because if I accidentally fall in the water, especially if I got a lot of clothes on, I want something to hold me up out of the water. I'm always panicked. You guys see me in the winter, I leave my boots unzipped. I wear this in the winter when I'm fishing by myself because if I fall in the water, I ain't got nobody to help me get out. Uh, 70, 80 bucks, I'll put a link down below, or you can also get them at Academy. This one I truly, truly love. This was my wife's gift to me for Valentine's Day this year. This is called a Wego Jump Starter. It's about 140 bucks. It comes in this little bag right here. And believe it or not, that dude will jump your boat. It'll also jump your truck. It stays charged. It's a lithium battery. It stays charged. I think it says to charge it at least every six months. It also has a super high duty flashlight, sorry about that. And it has an SOS on it too, so if you ever wind up somewhere where you need help, or a flashing light, not SOS. But I love that thing. 
I keep it in the boat all the time. Uh, by the way, it also has, for you YouTubers, it has plugs in there so you can charge your cameras off of it. I've used this a bunch in the boat reviews when I get in a guy's boat and he doesn't have USB plugs. I can charge my GoPro with that. You can also charge your phone with it as well. That is, that's probably the coolest gift Sarah has given me, about 140 bucks. I absolutely love that thing. I mentioned this to you guys about a month ago. So I have rod sleeves on all the rods that are in the boat that are in boxes. And I've historically bought those little 499 Academy rod sleeves. The problem with them is they come all the way down to the reel and, well, two problems. Uh, hooks get in those things and that, I mean, you can get them out, but it's a pain in the butt, especially if you're in a hurry. And that knit fabric, you're, sometimes your eyes will pop out of them. Six Cents has come up with this. Now, I made the comment, I wish they hadn't sent me one of these. They sent me one of these, thanks Six Cents, that was really smart. They're 10 bucks a piece, which is not expensive until you need to buy 30 of them. So I'm slowly adding these. What I like about them is it's neoprene, super quiet. The eyes can't pop through the material. And what they've done is they put a bungee strap on the bottom of it that you just hook around your, your reel handle. And the cool thing about that is all of them, they start far enough up the rod, you're not getting hooks when they're all of them are piling the rod box together. You're not getting hooks inside those. 10 bucks a piece, spectacular stocking stuffer. You could certainly go crazy with it. Other thing, I talked about this actually several months ago. Get it where you can see it. So, Lou's, I like knowing what my line size is, right, on my reels. Lou's made on their high dollar reels, it's hard to see, but that little dial right there. And that dial allows you to dial on there and say what size your line size is. The cool thing about it is those will fit on all loose reels, and I'm told they'll fit on a lot of other rods, or excuse me, reel manufacturers reels as well. And loose now sells them separately at 19 bucks a piece. That's a great idea. The other thing, now you guys know I'm a cigar line guy, but I'm gonna tell you when I see something that's brilliant. And it's an idea I actually came up with about four years ago. I went to Casey at Six Cents and said, we should manufacture these. And he said, well, I got too many things going on and there's not much profit in them. But these things right here, Sunline makes these. You can buy them on Tackle Warehouse. I think they're, a, they're either a buck a piece or three bucks a piece. And you see it has the line size on it and you just loop it. Now, I'm not exactly sure looking at it where you put it on the rod, if it goes over the handle or what. I've got a set of them ordered to check them out. But again, super handy, you can pop them on and pop them off. Now, they only show 16 pound line. I only use 15 or 17, but it would certainly narrow it down for me on the rods that I don't have that. That's called a speed dial, by the way, on that reel. When I don't have a speed dial on there, that would be real handy and on the spinning poles too, to put different things on there so I know what my line size is on there. I got some other ideas. Let me think what I've got on here. Boots. So I, I have been on the great boot search and I found these boots right here. And I, I don't have them yet. I've ordered them. Santa's bringing them. Ken Santa's bringing them to Ken. And what I wanted was I wanted a waterproof boot to fish in, but I wanted something with a less aggressive sole so I could still feel things, feel the trolling motor and different things on the front deck versus having a great big clod hopper sole on them. So the, the second thing that, I, that I'm going to order for myself are these. So these are called I want overboot gators, or you'll see right there what they're called. I just saw these on the Frog Togs website the other day. This is a brilliant idea. So you've got great waterproof boots on, right? But what happens? You sit down in the boat seat and you're running down the lake and when you sit down your pants legs ride up, right? So you get water on your legs, water goes down, your feet are wet on those torrential downpour days, these are a great idea. They're like what we used to snow ski in where you wore gaiters over the top of your ski boots to keep snow from going down in your boots. Frog togs, great idea with these. They're a little bit expensive at 80 bucks, but there's been a lot of days I'd have given 80 bucks to have dry feet. So I've ordered a set of those from frog togs. I can't wait to get those things. That's a great idea. 
So that's my current ideas from Christmas. So we're giving the wife about ah, a little bit over a month, probably right out a month by the time I get this edited and posted to go and buy you some of this stuff. There's some other products out there. If you've got an idea for something, please share it in the comments below. Something that you've bought for yourself recently that you got that you love. And I would love to share it with everybody else because again, certainly we all need socks and underwear, but it's really fun to get cool stuff and get to unwrap at Christmas morning. So share this with the Santa in your house or if you're Santa for your kids who like to fish, I don't think I've shown you anything here they wouldn't love to have. So hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you've got ideas, I'd love to hear them, but those are my ideas. And so honey, you know, those things that I didn't have there, I'm okay if you get those for me. Thanks guys, we'll see y'all soon. You know, as soon as I quit doing the video, I stepped over something and I thought, you know, I just got this, I love it. One of my viewers actually gave this to me and this is the coolest thing. It's a prop bag, right? And you just, it's Velcroed up. Everybody knows how hard it is to carry a prop around and also how you don't want a prop banging around in your boat in a box. That's awesome. You're not going to cut your hand. It's quieter. I don't, these are not expensive. I'll post a link down below. If you don't have one of those, that's a great idea. And I'm not going to say the name, but thank you to my viewer that gave this to me. It was used and he wasn't using it. And I love it. I've had a prop in it since the day you gave it to me. So thank you for that. Now I'll sign off and say, thanks guys. We'll see y'all again soon. You know, I'm sure it's not a charm that I'm a dork and I forget stuff and I do cutaways. But the other thing about that rod sleeve is, you, as a co-angler, you can put them in your co-angler spot and go down the road and not lose rod sleeves. Every co-angler that uses the old style rod sleeves that just slide down on there has lost at least one, if not an entire set of rod sleeves going down the road with the rod sitting over there. You're not gonna have that happen with those six cents because they got that loop around the handle. So that's just an added bonus for those. And again, they're twice as expensive as the ones I've been buying, but I'm gonna eventually replace all of mine. I'm replacing them two or three at a time. So just a thought for you.